Welcome back to the channel and in today's video, we're gonna create this very exciting food social media motion poster in Adobe After Effects. All right, here I am in a new project. You have all the assets inside this project panel create a new composition which is 1920 by 1920 10 seconds and I'm gonna rename this main comp and hit OK first things first let's drag and drop the background table which is a texture and make it a 3d layer I'm gonna drag and drop the burger on top of that scale it down and make sure you turn this at 3d layer as well go to layer new and create a new camera which is 35 mm hit ok layer new and null object and i'm going to rename this camera controller okay parent this camera to the null object let's rename the layer so that we are not confused with the layers so this one is the burger and this one is the table all right let's go to layer and let's create a new solid which is black and rename these shadows okay hit ok and move it just below the burger and make this a 3d layer select this ellipse tool and draw an ellipse right here so that this will be the shadow of the burger okay hit f to bring up the feather and feather the mask hit t on the keyboard to bring up the opacity and set this opacity to around 80 and select the burger go to the effects and presets and search for drop shadow drag and drop it on the burger and go to the effects and controls and set this direction to 180 and you can increase this distance you can see here the contact shadows and softness to a touch and you can increase the opacity or decrease it however you want all right go to the project and drag and drop the background footage which is this just below everything and you can make this a 3d layer as well hit p to bring up the position and push this away from the camera and you can scale it up and you can reposition find a background you like the most okay create a new solid rename it bg hit ok move it below all the layers and select the background video hit t and lower the opacity to 80 collapse this import smoke inside this make this a 3d layer select the background video hit p copy the position and paste the position on the smoke Control v and scale it back reposition it and change this blending mode so hit f4 and change this blending mode to screen all right drag and drop this video overlay on top of the burger make this a 3d layer f4 to find that and i'm gonna set this blending mode to screen and scale it up to fit the composition size right, select the burger layer and go to the puppet tool click it here and click it down here again hit p on the keyboard and we're gonna add a position keyframe here and move it back to the first frame and we're gonna move the burger up so that it slides down from the top and lands on the table select all the keyframes hit f9 and go to the graph and change the graph to something like this all right let's collapse this burger layer and let's find the puppet effect that we have added earlier grab these keyframes and move it here and i'm gonna move a few frames ahead hit page down thrice one two three and you can click on this point 
make sure you select only a single point and squeeze it down and I'm gonna go forward few frames and I'm gonna move this up like this and go forward a few frames again and copy this and I'm gonna paste it here and I'm gonna change this to, to like this the whole idea is to animate the burger as if it is bouncing all right let's animate the shadow select the shadow go around here set a keyframe for the opacity and go back and set this to zero okay select this and f9 for easy ease select the camera controller hit p on the keyboard and move few frames set a keyframe go back to the first and make sure the camera controller is at 3d layer as you can see here i forgot to turn on the 3d layer make it a 3d layer and i'm gonna parent it back and now i'll move the position here set a keyframe and move the z position zoom in like this select all the keyframes f9 go to the graph and change the graph to something like this all right let's create the text now let's select the text tool and type your text classic burger and change the burger to white and make this a 3d layer and move this just below the table and you can reposition it and I'm gonna use an animation presets like always. You can download these animation presets from my website. The link will be there in the description down below. So I'm gonna drag and drop these bounds from below to the text here. And I'm gonna reposition the text and maybe right about here I want this to happen, okay? Drag and drop the animation preset. And there you have the final output, all right? If you have any doubts or if you think I'm too fast, you just let me know in the comment section if you want me to teach you something which you want to learn then you definitely can comment in the comment section down below well i hope you learned something from this video this is motion designer and i will see you in my next video take care